This is going to be part four and I'm going to make a separate video. What we had to do here is we have to install a 30 amp breaker into our sub panel. Um, and this breaker is a GFCI breaker, which is wise to use because we're going to be working with water and electricity and brewing. Um, and it's just a wise thing to use. So I'm going to just do a rough uh, overview of how we installed it. Uh, I am by no means an electrician. I just kind of understand how to do this. Um, so. Don't take my word for it. If you don't feel comfortable working on this, definitely hire a licensed electrician to install this for you. But I can at least run through how we went about doing it. So this is a sub panel that's out in the garage. So what I did was I killed the main breaker panel uh, that has the breaker going to the sub panel. That way we know that none of this is hot, but always a good thing to do is have a sniffer. Um, I call it a sniffer, a tester. You can make sure nothing's hot. Um, and what we did is we have our breaker installed here you have this is 240 so we have two hot lines a neutral and then the ground going up to the grounding terminal um, and then the neutral from the actual breaker itself goes up to the neutral terminal up here and then what we have is this is all 10 gauge wire because we're going to be running somewhere around 25 amps we believe um, through it coming out a flex conduit you have to punch out a hole in the bottom of your box here as you can see so we punched out a hole got our nut tightened up a little bit of flex conduit and then what we're going to be going down to is this guy um, this is the plug that is on the brew control box originally we actually installed this um, but we weren't sure what was coming so we're going to change it up so we're going to wall mount this the we'll punch out this hole on the top of this screw it into here wall mount and then we'll wire everything up to the correct terminals um, on here you have a ground neutral and then two hots as well everything lines up so we'll make sure everything's in the right place get it mounted and then i'll show you what it looks like so stay tuned. So as you can see, we've got all of our conductors wired up. We've got our two hots, our neutral, and our ground. Um, those are all good. Then we're gonna put the cover plate on and back up to the top here. Again, make sure everything's matched up correctly. We've got our hots, neutral, and our ground there. Um, so I'm gonna put everything back together and then we'll show you guys what it looks like after it's all done. Then here's everything all buttoned up. So that is our 1430 30 amp receiver plug. And then we've got it to our 30 amp GFCI breaker and panels back on. So we're good to go and we're pretty much ready to brew.